This was to be the most ecstatic welcome the President had received so far. More than 5,000 people thronged Gaelic Park to cheer, to shake hands, and even to plant a kiss or two. Irish Australians from all over Victoria and the adjoining states came here to join in the huge open-air festival. The weather, uncharacteristically, may have been a bit overcast, but there was no mistaking the warmth and sincerity of the welcome. Gaelic Park here, when completed, will be by far the biggest and best equipped stadium in the Southern Hemisphere. More than £300,000 has already been spent on the 20-acre site, which will one day become Australia's Croke Park. Just now there are about 20 GAA clubs in the country, and attendances at matches can be as high as 20 to 30,000 people. The President was clearly quite impressed by the scale of the stadium and the warmth of the welcome he was given. In his address, he said nothing had so far surpassed it, and it was a source of immense pride to him to be present on such a historic occasion. Dr. Hillary then formally unveiled the plaque and declared the grounds officially open. For the GAA in Australia, it was clearly a moment to savour, and one which will undoubtedly loom large in the history of Gaelic games in the Southern Hemisphere when the records come to be written.